Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Zeitgeist, the interference quiz of the week. Uh, I'm Brad Mower. I'm Bunnery. <laughs> Hello. And uh, yeah, as someone's just said in chat, this is the last quiz of the year. It is, um, yeah. Because it's mostly the end of the year tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> well, we probably could squeeze another one in. Nope. 
No, <laughs> maybe not. How about no? <laughs> we might be busy tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yes, uh, I'm Brad Murrow. This is Bunnery. We're from Interference, the uh, drawing and describing game that Indeed. you can find over at playinterference.com. Mm -hmm. And what we like to do every week is take some of our favourite drawings and then make up some quiz questions around them. Yeah. Um, so Bunnery here has picked some of her favourite yes. pictures that uh, our players have drawn this week. Mm -hmm. uh, picked her favourite five and then written five rounds of general knowledge based on each of those. Yeah, they're really um, cool this week. Yeah, yeah. Five questions each. You and have then, no idea what they are. Okay, not Christmas or New Year no, themed, I guess. No, no, no. Mm, okay. Completely general random thing. Sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, five questions about each mm -hmm. topic uh, and then... Um, it's all multiple choice, four answers. All you have to do is press the join quiz button that you can see underneath the stream, oh, so yeah. the blue join quiz button. If you're playing on mobile or a tablet or you're using the Mixer app, you may need to press the mix play button first before you see those. Looks like two kind of arrows, kind of sort of a bit like that. Cool. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you should see this join quiz thing. Yeah. Uh, and then once you press that, as we ask questions, we'll read out the answers. You'll get a set of blue buttons underneath your stream. You can just press whatever you think is the correct answer. Yeah, multiple choice, so you get four choices. Uh, you can make an educated guess if you're not sure. <laughs> yeah, if you're not sure, just have a guess. You yeah, could yeah. be right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and if you are right, you'll get 10 points. You also get a bonus point if you're the fastest correct answer. And we've found a lot of the recent games have all sort of, it's been those Ooh, bonus those points. Those bonus points that are have very really important. So if you know the answer for sure, get in there quick. Yep, exactly. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, last week we had, uh, it was reasonably close, not yeah, quite as close as the week before, no. but we had uh, Grinning Goose finished in first place with 196 points, not quite getting over 200. Almost. <laughs> uh, Engulf Tick was behind her on 180, and then we had and Olive then... Walnut on 167. Yeah. So, That's you know, still cool. pretty cool. It's only mm -hmm. a few questions difference. Absolutely. Mm. Hello, Dom and Joey. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, hello to everyone who's uh, said yeah. hi to us in the Jess is here, oh, Renee yeah. is here, okay. Chaz and Quite a lot of the regulars. <laughs> yeah. um, Ferret must be around because she's hosted us. Uh, mm. Shaggy A7X, hello wow. there. How hello are you there, doing? Shaggy. How's it going? Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah. Come and join the quiz. Yeah, yeah. If you, um, you know, feel free just to just to sit and watch. But if you want to get involved, get interactive with us. Mm -hmm. uh, hit that join quiz button underneath yeah. the stream. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, as we've uh, we've just had a quick run through of how it works, we'll do it a, another couple of times before we start. But basically, multiple choice. Press the buttons. Ten points if you're right. Bonus mm -hmm. points if you're fastest. Yeah. Uh, leaderboard after each round, mm -hmm. and then a leaderboard at the very end to see how everyone did overall. Absolutely. We think we're the only live and interactive hosted quiz on Mixer. So mm -hmm. come and join us. We're special. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know us. We we like to do do crazy things. Absolutely. Try and um, you know cutting edge and all that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, hi to everyone else who's uh, who's already said yeah. hello. Dom Some Jerry, of the regulars Jess. are here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was a new crash crash thatch. It's hard to say that. Yes, yes, <laughs> crash thatch. Yeah. yeah. Somebody new. Hey, there we go. Shaggy's joined in. Yay, awesome. Good, 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 good. <laughs> so we uh, we officially start at seven, but we, you know we we start like a couple of minutes past. Just give everyone a chance to uh, get settled quiz, down, yeah. uh, grab a drink if you need. Yeah. Uh, you know, as I as I said, somewhere get you know get your thinking caps on. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like doing a pub quiz, but you don't have to get your coat on and go out into the cold, mm. get to the pub, try and find a table, yeah. queue up for drinks. That's all a bit of a hassle. Try, and, try and hear the questions over yeah. the really loud people on the next table. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And see people like cheating with their phones or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of that happens here. Well, I mean, we've been doing this for, uh, this is probably about four months, four months now, so. um, every week, and we haven't been to our actual pub quiz in all the time that That's we've been true. doing it. Yeah. So we haven't seen our <laughs> nemesis, 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 <laughs> yeah, nemesis sounds good. Um, yeah, um, yeah. I, for, I forgot what they, what they called, the Chamois Leons. The Chamois Leons. Leons. <laughs> they um, always nearly beat us, yeah. but quite often we were better than them. Yeah. That's how we roll. <laughs> we did. Uh, so, uh, yeah, as I say, we'll just give it another few minutes for people to uh, to get here. Yeah, get counting down, there's just over five minutes to mm. go, so get comfy, make sure you've got your drink with you. So, uh, yeah, anyone who's uh, watching that hasn't seen this before, the idea is we run a drawing and describing game, uh, Interference, mm -hmm. which you can find at playinterference.com. Uh, it's basically uh, Chinese whispers or broken telephone, but with drawing in it as well. So it's sort of those crossed with Pictionary, almost. Yeah. Uh, and what we do is every week, Bunnery here picks five of her favourite drawings mm -hmm. that have been submitted by players mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. uh, builds a quiz around it. Yep. So uh, each of those drawings inspires a round. Mm -hmm. So 
um, I don't know, like last week we had all Christmas themed things. I say last week, it was actually Monday. It was Monday, yeah, less than a week um, ago. <laughs> so, you know, we had, might have had like a picture of a snowman uh, and it could have been maybe Christmas films, you know, like the snowman. Oh, yeah. We did actually have a question about the snowman, we did. didn't we? And we, we learned the boy's name was James. boy's called James, that's yeah. right. So. Educational. <laughs> See, I, I remembered that one. Yeah, this is very educational. <laughs> Oh, um, well, that's a nice T-shirt. Oh yes, you're yes. Very <laughs> saying, uh, no, I, should, I should probably stand up slightly. Ferret is bad guys written on it. Exactly. Wow. Ferret is our very awesome uh, community manager who got me this awesome shirt for Christmas. Um, <laughs> this is actually our test card uh, if we have technical difficulties. Uh, which um, ever since I made an actual "Hang on, we'll be right back" technical difficulties uh, slide, we've never had to use it. I shouldn't have said touch that, wood. Touch wood. <laughs> this is plastic. You um, can't. <laughs> so, so this is what you'd see if everything broke. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's very awesome, and it's in interference orange. Yes, yeah. that's right. And you've got the test card there, haven't mm -hmm. you? With the U uh, and Google's. Yeah, if you're in the UK, you probably get the reference for this. Um, very old test card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you still have that, a test that, card? That anymore? girl with the um, mm -hmm. uh, sort of weird clown doll kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Jinxed it now, lol. Yeah, uh -oh. yeah. Uh, possibly shouldn't have said no, that. No, we don't want to go wrong It'll when we've fine. got new It'll people. Be <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh, Mighty Mo is here. Hello, Hi, Mighty, Mighty Mo. Mo. How's it going? Nice to see you. Hope you had a nice Christmas. <laughs> Um, so um, I, I feel like I went off on a tangent there. You did. Yeah. So um, drawing some of the game yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, five rounds. Five rounds. Yeah. Five rounds. Five questions each. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all live and interactive. So we'll read out the questions, give you a choice of answers, and then underneath your stream, you'll get four buttons appear. You just press whichever one you think is the right You've got answer. Ten seconds to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then uh, 10 marks if you're fastest and a bonus point if you are... No, so I'm no. saying it's the wrong way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 10 points if, if you're you correct, right, yeah. bonus mark if you're fastest yeah. and correct. And correct, yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll have a look at the leaderboard as we go through each round. Yep. And then <laughs> at the end, we'll have the big leaderboard and we can see who's won. We've planned ahead this week. Bonnery has some, some sort of cough stuff here yeah. as well mm -hmm. if she starts coughing. Yeah, yeah. I was I, hoping it'd be getting better now, but it doesn't seem to be. I know. Well, they always last longer than you, uh, than you think, don't yeah. they? There's a cough going on called the 100-day cough. Did you know that? I'm, I'm sure I've had it 100 days by now. I think you probably have. It's like three months and a bit. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Sounds plausible. We're getting there. <laughs> okay, almost time to start. Um, <gasps> Two minutes to go. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Anyone else <clears throat> just watching? Just join the quiz by pressing the button yeah if you're uh, i mean if you like you know just just watch a bit check it out see how it all works you don't have to get involved from the start as we say we've got leaderboards after each round mm -hmm. so even if you come in part way through you can still see your name up there yeah uh, but if you do want to get involved just hit that join quiz button underneath yeah. the stream uh, if you're on a tablet or mobile or you're using the mixer app you may need to press the mix play button first uh, which is sort of the little kind of two arrows going around each other and that should make these buttons appear underneath the stream. Awesome. Quite excited this week. I hope you like the rounds, mm. the topics. So if you haven't seen this before, um, <laughs> the way this works is Bunnery's written the questions. I have literally no idea what's going on. So uh, I uh, kind of play along with with you all. Yeah. Um, well, you're not allowed to press the buttons, are you? But you're allowed to say. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, you can guess along. <laughs> the first time I see the questions and the answers is at the same time as you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I... Uh, I'm quite often wrong. But, uh, <laughs> it's, know, it's, it's interesting. It's educational. Oh, oh we've got some Lucas. else as well. Lucas. Oh, hi there. Nice hello to see there. you. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, we're about to get started in just under a minute, so yep. that's, uh, that's good timing. So press the join quiz button and you can join in. Yeah, yeah. If anyone else is watching and hasn't pressed that button yet, if you hit join quiz under the stream, this is all live and interactive. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be asking you uh, general knowledge questions, mm -hmm. uh, five five rounds based on different pictures from our drawing game, yeah, yeah. Uh, Interference. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea is when we give you the answers, you'll get four buttons appear underneath the stream. You press whatever you think is the right answer. Yeah. Ten points for a correct answer mm -hmm. and a bonus point if you're the fastest correct answer. That is it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if you're not sure, just press one. Might be lucky. Might be lucky and be fastest. Yeah. It, uh, it, it happens sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it's good to go quick. Sometimes it's good to think about it. And get it right. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's a, you know, it should be good. Last one of the year, as we say. Yeah, you know, absolutely. That, um, yeah. Crazy any, how fast any second now? Are you ready? Okay, everyone. Here ready for we round go. One. Do you want 
Okay, so uh, this is one of the drawings which came up this week. So uh, the, the, the way the game works is that someone's shown a description, they have to then try and draw it so the next person can, can see what it is. Uh, so this was by one of our players, Tony HLFC. They were shown the description, someone stole one of two omelettes from the pan. Oh, the grief. <laughs> uh, and they drew that, and it's pretty awesome. He does look very, very sad about that. Why? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think that's a bit of an overreaction. To, um, uh, <laughs> like it was meant to be. To onwards, yeah. yeah. So, can you guess what the round's going to be about? So, um, okay, uh, Mr. Tapestry oh, there. Mr. Tapestry, hi there. <laughs> Hello, we didn't see you come in earlier. Yeah. Um, is this round about eggs? Yeah, well, it could, could be. Different ways to cook eggs, maybe? Um, you know, something to do with. With kitchen. Oh, here it tells here, Mr. Well. Seller. Nice Hello. to see you. <laughs> um, mm. oh, I don't know. That looks a bit like that looks a bit like my outfit. I've got orange <laughs> and blue jeans on. There we go. Mm. Okay, let's see what the round's about. Okay. Well, it is. Oh, egg dishes. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I said. Everyone makes things with eggs, don't they? So everyone should be able to know about this. <laughs> okay. Shall I begin? You can begin. Yeah. All right. So egg dishes then. Question one. What do you call an egg that's been very gently cooked in below boiling point water in a small container? Is it a fried egg, a boiled egg, a poached egg, or a coddled egg? Mm -hmm. So you should have some blue buttons underneath your stream now if you just press whichever one you think is the right answer. Oh. Okay, so most of you are going for poached egg. A uh, few people saying boiled egg. Um, okay, well fried egg, it's, it's not that, is it? Boiled um, egg has to be boiled, so it can't be below boiling point, can it? Oh, okay, mm. yeah, so boiled egg, yeah, below boiling point mm. water. Okay, so mm. let's rule out boiled egg. Now, I'm not sure what a coddled egg is. I mean, I quite like poached eggs. I, th I think it's a poached egg. I, I agree with the majority here, but I've got no idea what a coddled egg is. I mean, maybe... If someone's coddled, are they treated very gently? Well, yeah, but... Mm. Mm. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to stick with poached egg. Okay. I think the majority are right here. Oh. It's actually a cuddled egg, yeah. Sorry, I thought everyone would know that. <laughs> so what is it? Because egg, you've got to boil it, haven't you, to get it, even if it's in its little container, you've got to boil it. But cod yeah. it's just in gently warm water, and right. it's hardly cooked. Okay. I didn't know that at all. <laughs> well, and it looks like nobody got well, that. Well, there we okay. go. At least you know. <laughs> so, uh, none of you getting that right, and hence, uh -oh. no one being the fastest correct answer. Oh, dear. Um, Mo saying, never heard of a cuddled egg. Jess, oh. not uh, not having heard of it. I think we should all have cuddled eggs next I've week. I've heard of it, but mm. I didn't know what it was at all. Because uh, if someone's cuddled, they're treated very gently. Oh, okay. I thought that might give it away. So, it's like a poached egg, but done gently. Gently, yeah. All right, here we go. Crash that says, poached eggs are a type of coddled egg cooked in water. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, because you can put the poached egg right into the water. These cuddled eggs have got to be in the little container, like a little ramekin. Right, okay. <laughs> Educational. Yeah. All right, moving on. Eggs Benedict consists of an English muffin topped with a poached egg and hollandaise sauce. And topped with what? Is it maple syrup, salmon, steak or bacon? Have you had Eggs Benedict before? I, I think I've had it once. I'm not so into hollandaise, because that, that's sort of mustard it's, based, yeah. isn't it? So, um, <laughs> a little bit weird. <laughs> I, I'm kind of visualising something pink on top of it, which yeah. means basically salmon or bacon. Mm, which um, would you prefer? I feel like... Uh, I mean, I'm almost tempted to say bacon, but something's telling me salmon. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say salmon. So a third of you have said salmon, actually. Um, a couple of votes for maple syrup. Most people went for bacon, though. Uh, and also, apparently, Mr. Tapestry is putting empty wrappers back in the chocolate tin. Naughty, Mr. Tapestry. <laughs> that is very... Um, I mean, it's disappointing, isn't it? Yeah, it is when really. you reach in thinking there's a nice one left, and mm. actually it's an empty wrapper. It's terrible. <laughs> Okay. Bacon. Oh, it was bacon. It's bacon. Oh. Yeah. I was second guessing myself all the time. Yeah. Here. <laughs> oh well. Okay. So uh, just over half of you getting that right, and mighty Mo was fastest. He's had the eggs Benedict then. <laughs> okay. Just over three seconds. Cool. So uh, yeah, people starting to get uh, yeah. get some scores. Points now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So next then, what do you add to whipped egg whites to make a meringue for dessert? Mm. Is it salt? Flour, baking soda, or sugar? Have you ever made a meringue yourself? Um, well, I had some leftover egg whites once when I made something else, and I tried whipping them, 
just to make meringue for a laugh. I didn't realise you were meant to add something to it, so maybe that's why it didn't work. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, flour, I, that, that doesn't maybe sound that likely. Baking soda? Wouldn't uh, taste great, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, That needs to be a part of, mm -hmm. of a bigger mixture, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, sugar, that, that sounds like the sensible kind of option. And it's a dessert as well, yeah. so sugar. Yeah, 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 sugar. 85% of you, well, just over, saying sugar. I think that's got to be right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But who got there fastest? That's the question. <gasps> Mighty Mo again. Mighty Mo storming in. Under a second. Now, wow. almost three quarters of a second. She's a wizard with the eggs, obviously. <laughs> uh, just saying, but how does it harden? It hardens by putting it in a quite low oven. So you pop it in the oven just slightly warm and leave it there. It basically dries out, and that's how it becomes oh. hard. I thought when you when you whisked it, it kind of went stiff. Oh, if you whisk it, it goes stiff, yeah, but it's still oh, squishy it... to touch. If oh, you want okay. it really hard so you can pick it up, then you have to put it in the oven for a long time. Fair enough. But very, very low oven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fun. Maybe I'll try one day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so question four. What do you call a pastry case filled with an egg, milk and cream mixture and vegetables, meats or seafood? Sounds yummy to me. Is it a quiche, a custard pie, a scotch egg or a souffle? Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, hello, GGR princess. We have thank a princess? You, uh, yeah, awesome. We're, we're on it. <coughs> um, thank you for the follow and thank you for, uh, for getting involved as well. Um, just because you missed the intro. Basically, uh, when we're asking questions, you'll see some blue buttons underneath. Uh, press the join quiz button and then press whichever one you think is the right answer. And we'll give you 10 points for a correct answer and a bonus point if you're the fastest correct answer. So this time, a pastry case filled with egg, milk and cream, vegetables, meats or seafood. Pretty much everyone went for quiche. Uh, someone said custard pie. Um, I mean, that's more of sort of a dessert thing. Yeah. You can have fruit and, and things in custard pies, can't you, mm -hmm. really? But um, I don't vegetables. know if I'd go for meat. And things. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm thinking it's got to be quiche. Yeah, most people do. Yeah. And it is. Go. So who got quiche fastest? Oh, shaggy, shaggy. Well done. There we go. <laughs> Under a second as yeah, well. Yeah, you've got an extra point there. Yeah, yeah. Ma making an impressive entrance here. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Final question. So, last one on eggs then. What is typically added to eggs to make a Spanish omelette? Mm, no idea. No, no, no. Is it smoked salmon, prawns, potatoes, or spinach? We've had Spanish omelette. Oh, sometimes they're called tortilla. Oh, yeah, that thick, always confuses me because yeah. people say tortilla and I think they mean. And you can have them hot or cold. So mm. when it's cold, you can slice it up into little triangles. It's really nice. Now, I mean, I, I think I've probably had Spanish omelettes with all of these things in them, but I think the thing that you almost always have in it mm -hmm. is potato. Um, Maybe you're right. I think. Because it's almost like sort of having like scrambled egg and hash brown, except scrambled egg with built-in, well, an <laughs> omelette with a built-in hash brown, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, half of you saying potatoes. Um, a few people saying smoked salmon and spinach and everyone else going for prawns. I'm pretty sure that's potatoes there. Yeah. Yeah. There a we true go. Spanish omelette has potato, maybe a little bit of onion and some seasoning. Okay, so half omelet. of you getting that right. Yeah. And crash that. Oh, well done. Yeah. First getting time. All, all the, the, the first time is here. Absolutely. Um, getting fast answers. So that's That'd two Interesting to see the leaderboard mm. after the first round, uh, wouldn't it? Thank you for the follow, by the way, there, crash that. Right, so that's the end of eggs. Oh, look well, at let's that. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. It's oh, like crash thatch thought it was cheese. <laughs> but, <Yeah. laughs> uh, that's cheese. a valid thing to be putting yeah. in an omelet. But cheese omelets are very nice. Uh, but you know, aside from that first question, mm -hmm. uh, doing all right. Yeah, everybody. you've everybody. got more right to set yeah. one, and one was the fastest. Wow. So crash thatch at the top there. Yeah. One point behind, we've got ferret and humid cellar. Wow. Um, just missing the fastest answer bonus. Yeah. Um, Mighty Mo thirty-two. Uh, He's shaggy. had two fastest answers ever. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, this is good. Awesome. Um, yes, yeah, Shaggy's on uh, 31, then we've got a big block of people, we've got Rene Enigma, Dom and Joey, Mr. Tapestry and Grinning Goose all on 30, we've got <laughs> Jess, Shaz and Riv and Olive Walnuts on 20, and Golf Tick <laughs> and Lucas are, are both on 10, and uh, GGR Princess only just, just joined Just started, us. yeah, so join the next round, Princess. <laughs> um, Lucas, don't worry about it, they're not all uh, going to be sort of cooking questions, no, uh, or we're about to change to a completely, <laughs> completely different <laughs> topic. Um, okay, so... That's how everyone did with uh, with.
with eggs. Mm -hmm. Thank God for it. And those are eggs. <laughs> um, yes, I, I think my my fix for uh, for Ava to try to stop our automated chat assistant mm -hmm. from breaking partway through the quiz and has actually stopped, um, <laughs> stopped her talking at all. Okay, um, well, that's fine. <laughs> which is interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I'll fix that for next week. <laughs> but Mo filled in for her. Yeah, yeah. Um, Okay. <laughs> so the next set of questions going to be inspired by this. So um, Alex Lone, one of our players over on Interference, was shown the description Bat Dracula and drew this. Yeah. That's very cool. Look at all that blood yeah. dripping from him. <laughs> oh, I thought he was wearing a scarf. No, no. Right. I think okay. he's been sucking blood. Right. So is it going to be vampires? Is it going to be Dracula? What can it be? Shall we have a look? Twilight. Ah, ah you know, be. it might feature, you never know. <laughs> a burst space hopper. It, it does look like, like a burst space hopper. Does. That's funny. <laughs> Someone's sort of it's... pulled the ear bits off. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of burst. Uh, yeah. That's what he's got in his mouth. <laughs> we'll just hope it's up the bats. Let's have a look. Okay, so round oh, two is vampires. about vampires. Absolutely. So let's go for question one. Which Irish writer wrote the definitive vampire novel Dracula? in 1897. Was it Samuel Beckett, James Joyce, Bram Stoker, or Oscar Wilde? I feel like um, even if people haven't read the novel, they'd mm. know, maybe know that from the film, which had their name in the title. Oh, did it? it? I think. Yeah, yeah, I think it did in one of them, actually. Um, that might have been the one with Kenneth Branagh. Could, could be. Oh, oh, I see. I see. It's, it's all about Kenneth Branagh again. No, no, um, it isn't. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think the film was called Bram Stoker's Dracula. Dracula. Oh, okay, so that must be the right answer, hey? Perhaps. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's got to be that. I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There we go. So, so almost all of you getting that right. Yeah. And Jess, Jess was fastest. first. Well done, Jess. <laughs> Jess, saying, of quick. course it had to be vampires. At least mm -hmm. I know this one. Yeah. Okay. Question two. In the Twilight series of books by Stephanie Mayer, what is the name of the vampire that Bella Swan falls in love with? Is it Edward Cullen, Jacob Black, Sam Uli, or Jasper Hale? Oh, looks like Crash Nuts was right, you know, Twilight. Yeah, come got up. a mention, didn't it, yeah? I almost got you there, really. <laughs> okay, um, so mm. a bit of a spread here. No one's gone yeah. for Sam. No. A few for Jasper, Jacob. Uh, Edward's the most popular one there. Mm. Um, I Played by Robert Pattinson. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't remember this until the answers came up. Okay, yeah. But when I saw them, I'm pretty sure it's Edward. Mm. I think I might have actually read this and then forgotten about it. Have you ever it seen the film? No. Okay, no. yeah, I've seen the film. Um, but... Everybody was talking about it, and I, mm. I thought it was maybe one of these things where you know everyone on the internet's referencing oh, it, absolutely. and if you You've haven't, tried, haven't you? yeah, you know, you, you're missing all of these yeah. in jokes and things. Mm -hmm. But it, it didn't really do it for me. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I was the target market. No, really. perhaps not. <laughs> uh, Shaggy's upset they answered so fast. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there we go. Uh, just correct. over three quarters of you getting it right. Edward Cullen. I think Jacob Black might have been the werewolf. Possibly. Right. Do you remember him? I don't know. Was that in the first book? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pe people saying mm. Edward, Edward, Team Edward, Team Jacob. Mm. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. You maybe you're right. There you go. Oh, uh, Princess saying won't let me vote. Oh. Um, yeah, if, I, sh I should say actually, if anyone does run into any problems with your interactive buttons not working, uh, you can refresh the page or, or refresh the channel in the mm. app at any point, uh, and it normally sorts it out. You won't lose your score. We're logging all of your scores on our end, so you can just connect back in and pick up where you left off. Yeah, and it's not the, the, the buttons on the screen, it's the buttons underneath. Yeah, it's yeah. The, the set of blue buttons underneath. underneath. Yeah, um, try if, that. If you're on a phone or a tablet, uh, you may need to press the mix play button, uh, and then um, underneath you yeah. can uh, then see the buttons there. Okay. Uh, Shaggy saying won't work on Xbox. Um, yeah, I'll be honest with you, we haven't actually tested this on an Xbox, because mm. uh, we don't have access to one to try it out. Oh, yeah. uh, unfortunately, <laughs> um, and yeah, we're we're very low budget. Um, <laughs> okay. But um, yes, perhaps perhaps this year we'll manage to borrow a development one or something and see if we can uh, do yeah. something about that. So who got fastest? Oh, uh, Mr. So Tapestry, Tapestry knows his vampires mm. and his uh, novels. That's pretty impressive. Very good. <laughs> 
Um, I should say, if, you know, if you are having trouble uh, voting on your um, computer or on an Xbox, uh, you can grab the Mixer app for Android and iOS, uh, and you're able to um, uh, play through that. Yeah. Um, ah, okay, Princess on Xbox. Okay, that, that would explain that. Um, yeah. We are going to be doing a new version of the quiz software in the new year. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm maybe starting on it next week, actually, which I'm hoping will work on Xbox. Yeah. It's all very new technology. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're, um, we're all kind of cutting edge here, so it's, um, yeah, sometimes we have these little issues. Okay, so who got the fastest there? Okay. Oh, we got um, the no, fastest, we yeah, yeah. Mr. Jefferson, yeah. of course. Okay, question three. What is the name of the 1922 classic silent film that is a screenplay co-written by actual Bram Stoker? Was it Vampire, Nosferatu, Dracula the movie, or Count Dracula? There was a classic original vampire. Um, I've never um, seen this. I've seen stills from it. I've never I, seen I, it. Yeah, I've Black seen little clips. Yeah. Um, but one of the guys I used to work with years ago said, you know, you should watch it because mm. it, it is actually amazing. I was amazed to discover that Bram Stoker had actually co-written I, no, the I, screenplay. I, I didn't know that. Wow. <laughs> so but based, based on this guy I used to work with, mm. I think it's, uh, is it? The full name like Le Nosferatu. Well, Le Nosferatu. I don't know. I, so I think it's Nosferatu. It's a strange name, isn't it? Um, is that French? I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe maybe it isn't Le. Maybe maybe I made that bit up. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, so most of you going for uh, Nosferatu, which I think means vampire. Mm -hmm. It does, yeah. It does. Um, just over a quarter of you saying Dracula. Mm -hmm. A few votes for the others. I'm pretty sure the majority of you are right here, though. Yeah, there we mm -hmm. go. So who got the fastest on this one? And Green Green Goose. Goose. Oh. There we go. Talk to me, Goose. Um, one and a half seconds just over. That's good yeah. going. <laughs> nice work. Okay, question four. Which US rock band, also famous for Welcome to the Black Parade, sang Vampires Will Never Hurt You? Was it My Chemical Romance, Fall Out Boy, The Goo Goo Dolls, or Creed? I think they lie. Vampires do hurt you. <laughs> um, I, I don't know Vampires Will Never Hurt You, but I do know the other song. Welcome um, to that yeah, yeah. Um, which I'm pretty certain was My Chemical Romance. Mm -hmm. um, oh, mm -hmm. here we go. Uh, Shaggy saying, big fan. <laughs> uh, Luke saying, I knew that, but I had to click the button a few times. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, I as, this as well. <laughs> uh, when, when you press a button, we normally get your, your vote almost instantly, and it will change to wait to see the answer. Uh, so as, as soon as the buttons disappear, you know that we've got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Ferret says she knows that. Uh, Jess mm. saying I know the band, but not the song. Cool. Um, yeah, I mean, as I say, I wouldn't have known Vampires Will Never Hurt You. Yeah, that's why I put in the little clue in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Welcome <laughs> to Black Raid. That was my chemical romance. Yeah, yeah. Almost all of you saying that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vampires' his first album. Ah, you see, I'm not cool enough, you know. Um, I think Welcome to the Black Parade was an album it as was well, an wasn't album. it? Well, yeah. the Black Parade was the album. Welcome to the Black Parade, it was the actual single from it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, you Close see, enough. I know these um, But no, I'd, mm -hmm. uh, I'd not heard, um, heard Vampires. Cool. Maybe I should listen to some of that tomorrow. You should. Um, okay, so as I say, almost all of you getting that right. Oh, and oh, Ferret wow. was fastest. Oh, wow. Well done, Ferret. <laughs> I know, you, do, you put these away and then you don't listen to them for a long time, do you? It's quite nice to go back and listen to old albums. You know what this is? We, I just very quickly going yeah. on, on a tangent. When you used to have CDs, mm. you know, you'd actually see them and you think, you would, "Oh, I'm yeah. going to listen to that." Yeah. But now you have access to all of this music. Yeah. You you just you don't nothing kind of triggers you to go. No. Oh, I'll well, listen to I haven't that. Listen to that for a while because no, you don't see it there with the, the cover, the cool cover, and everything, do you? Okay. okay. So last one on vampires. Then. Okay. Which of these is not harmful to vampires according to legend? So one of these is not harmful. Okay, is it silver, smoke, garlic, or sunlight? So three of those will damage a vampire, but one is quite harmless. So which is not harmful? Not harmful, okay. yeah. Well, that seems statistically unlikely. What? Um, according to that, no one pressed a button. Well, that seems a bit weird. Um, it froze. Did it break for everyone then? I think it did. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, what happened there then? Um, mm, okay. okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, one moment. Let me just see what's happening here. This is the joy. Oh, this is because I said about. You said about. Where is your little thing? You'll have to put it up now <laughs> while you fix it. <laughs> um, 
mm -hmm. carriage hat coming through this side too. Mm. Um, okay, let me just try pressing this here. Uh, <laughs> hmm. um, it's really the quiz. <laughs> okay, um, right, let me think about... We haven't actually had something break in the middle of it for ages, mm. um, so I've forgotten what I have to do here. Um, hold on one moment, I think I have to just restart the quiz yeah. thing and press resume, and then we all pick up where we left off. We'll be able to do this question again, or we have to... Yes. Okay, so I won't tell you the answer no. yet then. Okay. So you can think about it a little while now. I yeah. think I just need to make you full screen as well. <gasps> no! Why do you want to make you full screen? There you go. <laughs> uh oh, it's me. <laughs> oh, is the chat fine? Oh, yeah, so some people are saying the chat's a little bit laggy, but it seems okay here. Um, it's okay for crash, crash fetch. Um, but yeah, Mixer just wasn't accepting the answer for some reason. Maybe the vampires have got to it. Who knows? Maybe doesn't, Mixer doesn't like vampires. <laughs> oh, Ava's back now. Oh, okay. What's this about? <laughs> yeah, Ava, what's going on? <laughs> you can tell us. Mixer is a vampire, maybe. Yeah, Mixer is a vampire. <gasps> We're starting in 53 seconds. <laughs> That's cool. Ooh. Grinning Goose rejoined the quiz. Oh, he's getting everyone back in there. That's good. That looks promising. We've got you all back again, and we're on round two of vampires. And my name is Let up. me just mic myself up again. There we go. I think Ava's been having a snooze. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, everything seems to be working again properly now. Okay. Um, okay. So we'll um, we'll get going again in just a moment. If yep. this has all worked, mm -hmm. well, we've logged everyone's scores so far. They should all have just been pulled back in now, That's and awesome. then we'll start again on that question. Okay. Go for it. Oh, well, the, the, oh, the, countdown. the, the problem okay. is, you know, the keyboard's over there and I need yeah. to press a button to speed up the countdown. No, so, no, it's okay. We'll just um, wait. Five, everyone should have four, automatically come back in. Three, but if you've got a join two, quiz button, you one. might just need to press that again. Woohoo! It's time for Zeitgeist again. I don't know why that's randomly made Ava start talking again. <laughs> Quite excited, don't you? Here we go. There we go. You're right. right. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah, have a guess again. There you go. You've, you've had a little bit of thinking time. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Answer now. Is that any better? We don't have to start the round again. No, no, not the round. Just It works. It works. Yay. <laughs> yeah, everyone seems quite excited that it's working. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, that seems a bit more like what I was expecting. Yeah, you see. You're good, aren't you? Um, so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I probably should have thrown up the um, technical exactly. difficulties. Exactly, yeah, I was waiting for that. Um, <laughs> so um, I'll, I'll do it after the round, just so everyone can see. Uh, so <laughs> most people said uh, smoke. Uh, so uh, yeah, just uh, just under 90% of you. Mm. Uh, few for garlic, few for sunlight. You do hear about garlic being, uh, they don't like garlic and they don't like um, sunlight, do sunlight. they? Sunlight. Silver, is it? I didn't know that, so, but it could be like you have to kill them with a silver bullet or something. No, I think that's werewolves. Oh, is it? Okay. Mm. But yeah, they don't. they really don't like silver. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure it's smoke is not harmful, though. Yeah. You're there right. They love a bit of smoke. And Mr. humid cellar was fastest wow. there. That's three oh, answers. Wow. Three people answering in under a second. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, that's the end of the round. Yeah, so <laughs> hopefully all of the scores have been restored <laughs> and everything's fine and the leaderboard is going to look correct. Okay, hold your breath. <gasps> <laughs> that seems plausible. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Looks like Green Goose got them all right, as did Jess and Vanguard Fairy and Mr. Tapestry and Shaggy and Wow. Human cell saying back to sucking for me though. <laughs> Vampire reference. <laughs> I like it. Um, uh, Shaggy and Lucas also getting all of them mm. right, but not getting the uh, fastest bonus. Mm. Uh, and then we've got Engulf Tick, Old Walnut, and Crash Thatch all getting four right. Yeah. Mighty Mo, Rene, Enigma, and Dom all got two right. Oh. Human cell and Princess got ten, uh, ten right. Got one right each. Um, Crash Thatch thinks he got one wrong. He doesn't think he got one wrong. Ooh. Um, <laughs> I will, I can review this in the yeah, we'll later. Check it. Yeah, we'll yeah. uh, Could have been uh, technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, sh I should just say, just so um, you can all see. Um, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> no, no, no technical No, 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 I just wanted to show off the drawing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so let's take those Ooh. scores and add them into the... Uh, Overall score so far. Okay. Yeah, oh, good, good work. that worked. Okay, oh, there wow. we go. Look at Vanguard Fairy top of the top there. 
Uh, yeah, so ferret out in the lead. I say lead, it's only one point though. Uh, one question, rather. Yeah, yeah, one question. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. yep, um, not on 91. Then we've got Grinning Goose, Shaggy, Crash Thatch, and Vex Street on 81. Mm -hmm. uh, Jess on 71. Olive Walnut and Lucas are both on 60. We've got Mighty Mo on 52. Human Seller on 51. And Golf Tick, Rene Enigma, Dom, and Joey all on 50. And then we've got Shaz and Riff on 20, and Princess on 10. Mm. Okay. Here we go. That's uh oh okay. Oh, Jess has got the sound down. That uh, no, I was going to say that's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but she can't, she can't hear us. She's got the sound down. Okay. Okay. Next round. All right. So this time the artist was uh, asked to draw Deadpool's face. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> um, okay. So I mean, the obvious choice, something like Marvel. Um, I mean, yeah, well, DC would be quite entertaining if you're trying to mess with us. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's got, got to be Marvel. I mean, or Deadpool. I mean, Deadpool's too specific, I think. The, the rounds do tend to be things that um, people can kind of learn by osmosis, you know, so like, um, uh, you know, the, the uh, Marvel films are kind of in the... Um, mentioned everywhere enough that people would know about them. I suppose there's a little blip because uh, Jess can't see anything and everyone else has had to rejoin. <gasps> no! Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that wasn't on our end, but yeah, our, our stats are showing that everyone's just disconnected and reconnected. Okay. Um, so, okay, uh, Jess saying finally, finally. so okay, hopefully back. that means. Who hopefully can see Deadpool's face now and we can go on to see what the round's yeah, about. Yeah, we'll just give everyone a moment or two mm -hmm. just to... Uh, yeah, I sure. think Mixer is having a bit of a bad night. Yeah, I think... Um, I say this every week when we have little technical difficulties, but we would kind of rely on Mixer's FTL, like mm -hmm. low latency streaming, so, yeah. and um, the uh, like mix play. Saying, waiting for the game to be ready. Okay. That means we've been disconnected and it hasn't um, allowed us to reconnect properly. Oh. Uh, what happens if you go to... So, can people see? Uh, yeah, everyone's me? saying that's happening as well. Okay, so um, what are you going to do okay. that? Well, I'm, I just need to restart this thing again. Okay. This hasn't happened for ages, has it? <laughs> I, I blame, I blame you, so. Uh, do you think so? Oh, dear. <laughs> Okay, that sounds. <laughs> um, oh, are you yeah. ready for the next round? So, um, <laughs> just saying can you see us? <laughs> disappear again. Ah, oh, good grief! Yeah, maybe I maybe I need to put something in so Ava knows not to uh, do anything when. Uh, just check that is actually working ah, for me. Yes, yeah. it's time for. Woohoo! Yeah, I, I think we, we would. <laughs> okay. Yes, I should probably get Ava to not post anything if we. Oh, okay, we've gone straight into the question. <laughs> there you hey, go. Why not? You go for it. <laughs> um, okay, so there you go. It's about Ryan Reynolds. No way. Who would have thought that? Gosh. Um, okay, so question one. Um, hopefully. Everyone's all right. Yeah. Okay. I have to refresh. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I think he's awesome, isn't it? I think people are in. <laughs> Woohoo! Lucas is back. Yay. Yeah, we should automatically recognise you um, if you. Yeah, it's okay. Good. Oh, good. I'm sure that just came up twice. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, Hello. New person. Come on. Come on. Nice to see you. Okay, we might just have a few of those join quiz uh, things just just catching up. Everyone's just popping back in. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, uh, yeah. We'll carry. Okay, on. let's go with question one. Uh, okay, so. 
Where was Ryan Reynolds born in 1976? Was it Quebec, Canada, Vancouver, Canada, London, England, or New York, USA? Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I'm just trying to work out what's happening in the chat's going chat. a little bit crazy yeah, with Ava. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she's kind of. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, she doesn't clear her chat messaging thing right. when reconnecting, so those are all cashed up from before. Hey, that please. As I say, you know, it's like the cutting edge of technology, this, yeah. so sometimes we have little glitches. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for bearing with You're us. You're all kind of helping us to test it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, where else do you see live hosted quizzes yeah. on the internet, you know, exactly. on, on Mixer and Nowhere. Twitch and all that. <laughs> uh, okay, so most of you went for Vancouver. Wow. Uh, few people say people London, a few people say New York. Um, Quebec got, got a vote as well there. But What do you think? Uh, I think it's Vancouver, Canada, mm -hmm. because... I follow him on Twitter, yeah. and his username is something like Van City Reynolds. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> and that's right. Yeah, well done. <clears throat> A lot of people knew that. Okay. okay. Were you surprised there? No, I was surprised. Yeah, I don't think anyone would know that. <laughs> Jess, um, uh, there you go. Oh, Jess, yeah. you got it right. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Just under two seconds. Mm -hmm. He's pretty awesome, isn't he? He is very cool. Uh, and he starred in and also produced the first Deadpool film. But which comics did Deadpool first appear in? Oh, okay. I don't know if I know this. Is it DC Comics, The Dandy, Marvel, or The Beano? It'd be awesome if he's in The Beano, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, I think I can rule out two of those quite easily. Really? Um, are you sure? Because they're, um, I mean, The Dandy and Beano are kind of kids sort of things. <laughs> Jess is saying what I'm thinking. I'm not sure if this is a trick question. Because a lot of the time, when you ask questions about, ooh, where did this character first appear? And I go, well, it's obviously that. Um, and I'm always wrong. <laughs> Jess saying, I think he was originally ripped off from a DC character. They even have similar real names. Make a decision then, there. <laughs> what are you going to go for? I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to stick with the majority here. I'm going to say Marvel. Although I think... Jess is right um, because I don't want to say in case it's a question later okay. on, but I think the, there is someone with the same actual name mm. in DC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's oh, There we go. The Deadpool that we know was Bob. Yeah. Oh, there goes Ooh, a fish. Thank you for the space whale. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, okay, so most of you are getting that right. And mm. Mighty, Mighty Mo, Mo. Fastest. Oh, yeah. He's doing well. Um, oh yes, hang on, maybe that's what, what I was thinking strike, of, Death Strike. Yeah. Oh yeah, similar name then, isn't mm. it as well, yeah. Wow, interesting. <laughs> okay, next up. Ryan also appeared in one episode of which iconic sci-fi series on TV? This will surprise you. I'm surprised already. Mm. The Twilight Zone, The X-Files, Doctor Who or Sequest DSV? Have you ever seen him in any of those? I love Sequest, um, and I'm trying to think if I've seen him in it. You know, actually, I kind of half wonder if it was Sequest. No, no, maybe I'm... Uh, I mean, everyone else is saying X-Files. I mean, that seems more likely. I'm pretty sure he hasn't been in Doctor Who. Cause we've, oh, Firefly. We've, Shaggy we've Firefly was awesome, that. wasn't it? Firefly, we love yeah. that, yeah. I mean, I, well, we watched Firefly like mm. 10 years late. Yeah, we did. Really. Um, and then it's, it's really sad because you're going through <laughs> it and you, you know there isn't any more. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was really good, though. Okay, so what do you think? Make a decision. I'm going to go... I'm going to go X-Files. Okay. And then it'll be Sequest and I'll kick myself. Okay. Yeah, indeed it go. was. It was X-Files. I didn't even know that. How cool is that? Mm. I don't, I don't remember that one. In his early days. He probably looked a lot younger, maybe, because mm. it was in his early days. But yeah, he was in just one episode. One called Syzygy as well. Syzygy? Mm. Nice. 
I sort of half remember that one. Yeah. Yeah. You should watch it. <laughs> anyway, I uh, I digress. But um, mm. nearly three quarters of you getting that right. Yeah. Um, yeah. A few people went for Doctor Who. I mean, you know, that seems plausible. That would be awesome. But that would be very. He should cool. be the next Doctor Who. <laughs> he should be in Doctor Who as Deadpool. Um, no, that would be a bit too no, weird. No, that would be too weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sequest, yeah. I, I've got the first two seasons of Sequest on DVD downstairs. Yeah, but let's see who got that. <laughs> that was, oh, ah, she's your princess. princess. You know, nice. X-Files, well done. Nice one. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> oh, Human Cell saying, I thought it'd be that because you said this one will surprise <laughs> you. Okay, so question four. Ryan is currently happily married to Blake Lively, but who was he married to before her? Was it Scarlett Johansson, Jennifer Aniston, Angelina Jolie, or Sandra Bullock? I had no idea about this. This this is like a celebrity amazed. kind yeah, of thing. I was so I, I don't know this sort of stuff. Oh. Okay, looks like <clears throat> everyone's just guessing, really. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's reasonably even split. Okay, yeah. Scarlett Johansson and Sandra Bullock are even there. Jennifer Aniston slightly behind. Angelina Jolie, not as many people. Um, I think the two middle ones have both been married to the same person, but it wasn't by him. Wasn't it bad? I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking. I don't know. I mean, I was going to say Scarlett Johansson because I mean that seems like the obvious answer. But then, why? I, mean, well, I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. Sandra Bullock's a bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Scarlett Johansson. Why? Yeah. Why, Let's why have not? a look then. See. Uh, Shaggy saying, "Was he married before?" Didn't even know. No, I had literally no idea. Ah, no, I was really surprised when I read that. To, yeah. to be fair, I didn't know who's married now because I, I don't sort of follow any <laughs> oh, yeah, of this kind of stuff. Yeah, he's got kids and everything. He's so lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, he just keeps. Yeah, he does. He's always he keeps doing nice them things to the kill yeah, on uh, kids, Twitter. Yeah. Uh, Jess saying, "What is it with famous people marrying other famous people?" Yeah, they should. They should be sort of ordinary. <laughs> Scott Johansson. Yeah, can you believe that? I got no idea. Oh, there we go. Oh. There you go. <laughs> uh, and oh, good and goose goosey, that one then. Ah, uh, you see, <laughs> Lucas has has the solution here. Yeah. yeah. What is the solution? Uh, Scarlet should marry Lucas. <laughs> yeah. You don't see much of Scarlet these days, do you? Have you seen her in anything recently? Um, it's, isn't it Scarlet Johansson in Marvel stuff? I mean, as I say, oh, I, I, I kind of forget. Maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah. That's Black, what, um, Black Widow, maybe that's yeah. why I'm not seeing them then. I, I forget um, what people's real names are <laughs> and stuff. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Black Widow. She's okay. in, like all, a lot of the Marvel stuff. Okay, to have the last question on Ryan Reynolds. Okay, and that is next year, 2019. Ryan will lend his voice acting to which much anticipated film? This is a surprise as well. <laughs> He's so versatile. Is it the Lego Movie Two? Pokemon, Detective Pikachu, Lion King live action, or Frozen 2? <laughs> I think Vanguard might know this one. Vanguard fed it. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so most of you are going for Detective Pikachu. Uh, a few saying Lego Movie 2, Lion King live action, no one going for Frozen 2. Uh, human seller saying so excited for this movie just because he's in it um, Shaggy I thought it was a joke when it was revealed yeah I, I can see where you're coming from with that uh, Lucas had no idea um, I think it's um, Detective Pikachu you've heard that? yeah I've seen oh. the trailer it's unexpected um, but it must have stuck in my mind because I, I had this weird dream about we were hosting the quiz mm. outside of a, uh, a restaurant oh, course, in yeah. London for some reason. Mm -hmm. Then Ryan Reynolds turned up in a taxi yeah, yeah. Um, and I asked him if he wanted to join in, but he said he had to get to his next pickup. Yeah. Um, it was a very weird dream. Uh, we talked about it in Discord. Yes, yes, I was uh, <laughs> posting this in, uh, in Discord. <laughs> Your weird dreams. <laughs> yeah, you, why not? Well, so just see. under three quarters yeah. of you getting it right. And Humid Cellar was fastest, under a second. Um, yeah, so it's I was freaked out by a floofy Pikachu. <laughs> Humid Seller saying, so excited for this movie, obviously translating into a sub second <laughs> click there. Mm. Um, yeah, fluffy Pikachu. Um, yeah, it's, it's odd. I mean, it looks, looks kind of fluffy, fun. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what everyone knew about Ryan Reynolds then. Wow. I think Gunningus has got 102, possibly. Is that possible? Um, well, no. No, no, no. <laughs> that's true. No. What's happened here is <coughs> some of them have been counted twice. Um, is it yeah. oh, that's weird, isn't it? It's cool. It's cool. We'll sort it out. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I can. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I can fix that. We have this all logged server side, so I can I can kind of filter that out. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten mm -hmm. out of five. You see, have you ever noticed how whenever we have technical difficulties, it's mm -hmm. the more people are watching, <laughs> the more things can go wrong. Yeah, well, we've um, been doing so well recently. Mm -hmm. so it's the last one of the year, you know. It's yeah. it's because I said I haven't needed that technical difficulty. <laughs> yeah, it's because you're wearing that shit. <laughs> Don't ever wear it again. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's weird, isn't it? Damn you, Murphy, saying human seller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Um, what we will do is these these scores are probably out slightly. Um, but would the order still be the same? It it would should be. be. Mm. Uh, as I say, all of this stuff gets logged back to our system, uh, so I can look at this and fix it. I'll just need to do it after the quiz. Yeah. Uh, so um, we'll. We should, yeah. It, it should the the order should be correct, yeah, yeah. but the numbers might be slightly yeah, exactly, out. Yeah, and I it. will post the correct ones into the chat. Yeah. It should take me a few minutes afterwards. Okay. Uh, okay. So um, goose in the lead at the moment. Pretty close though. Um, still just a few uh, points between it. Mm -hmm. Um, she used to get a, like a shorter name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, goose with one thousand three hundred thirty-two points. Um, it's it's not quite that bad. No. Um, I think. Goose's name is actually something like Grinning Goose 13, mm -hmm. so it looks like it's overlapping. It kind of, yeah. I need so to space big. that leaderboard out yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, technical difficulties. We live on the cutting edge here. These, <laughs> these things happen. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Should we try another round? Okay, inspired by man angry at ice cream truck. Man cause what? Causes ice cream what? <laughs> man angry at ice cream truck. Man. Yeah. Oh, man angry at ice cream truck man because oh, right. his ice cream fell. Right, that explains it, yeah. I see. <laughs> so, okay. um, yeah, he's shaking his face. Hey, I thought I told you. Um, and um, the uh, oh, ice cream man. truck uh, storming away there because he's so angry. But that was uh, a yeah, nice little drawing by Olin Dago there. <laughs> Cold food, Hitman. <laughs> okay, so people guessing. Hitman? Yeah, you frozen desserts, Tasty ice cream. Thing. Hitman could be. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that does seem like the kind of thing that happens in Hitman mm. games, actually. I, I think like I might Hitman. have done that once. <laughs> Gravity. Gravity. Gravity's a good I like, one. I like the way Shaggy and Lucas are thinking <laughs> yeah, about this. Yeah, they're Because it, Gravity, I mean, it could be. <laughs> the Gravity movie. the movie. Yeah, we well, I mean, it. we have had Sandra Bullock earlier, haven't we? Yeah, we have, yeah. Okay, let's have a look then. Ice cream. The ice cream, which is cold food, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's the simple things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure they have a lot of things to put up with Mighty Man. <laughs> Okay, question one. Ben and Jerry's released a special edition ice cream called Satisfy My Bowl to commemorate a famous album by which star? Was it Bob the Builder, Bob Ross, Bob Dylan, or Bob Marley? I think the actual album was called Satisfy My Soul. So they created a special Satisfy My Bowl. That makes more sense. Yeah. So not many people going for Bob the Builder or Bob Ross, but Bob Marley slightly got the edge there. Hmm. What do you think? Um, I yeah, I think I think Bob Marley. Can he fix it? Well, I mean, that, that would only be necessary if you if you dropped it. Um, mm. <laughs> no, I, I think I think Bob Marley. Yeah, that seems plausible. Think, okay. Oh, oh, Shaggy oh. saying, ah, oh, drop my phone, press the wrong one. Drop your phone. <laughs> as long as your phone's okay, that's that's the main that's thing. That's the main thing. Um, okay, so just over half of you getting that right. Mm -hmm. And Olive, Olive Wall, Wall, that was well done, Olive. That's a good one. <laughs> Okay, question two. Which superhero tried ice cream for the very first time after leaving their sheltered island home for their big city? This was in the film, if you remember the scene. Was it Thor, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, or Black Panther? Which of those tried ice cream? I mean, I'm, I'm sort of basing this on sheltered island. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, I, I, I think it was Wonder Woman. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, she she was on like this sheltered island and went to the big city. I mean, I'm basing this on the film because mm -hmm. I, you know, I haven't read uh, any of the comics and okay. things. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm pretty sure it's, it's quite one a, an even split there, isn't it? Really, or Thor's getting. I mean, having said that, I think at some point Thor probably does have ice cream or, or something. Does he live on an island? But he doesn't. Yeah, exactly. He well, lived over some kind of rainbow or something, some bridge. That makes it sound like um, the <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Or okay. yeah. Yeah, somewhere um, in the rainbow. <laughs> I think combining all of these, mm. ice cream, sheltered island, mm. big city, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking Wonder Woman. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. There we go. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Which that ice cream flavour did he try? I, I don't remember. I don't know, actually. She, yeah, exactly. I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe that's <laughs> an upcoming question. Yeah, that's the next question. <laughs> Jess, got that. She really did know that, yeah. Um, with, uh, one and a half seconds. <laughs> okay, question three. Robert Van Winkle released his song Ice Ice Baby under what name? Was he Choc Chip, Rum and Raisin, Vanilla Ice or Rocky Road? Do you remember Ice Ice Baby? I do. Yeah. And I, I've got to admit, this sounds a little bit stupid, but... Um, I never really, it never really occurred to me that they'd have a proper name. <laughs> of um, course. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, no, no, I'm going Nicole. for Choc Chip um, or Rocky. Well, no, someone's going for Rocky. Yeah, Rocky is a great name for a singer, I think. A Rum and Raisin. I mean, that would be a duo. Yeah, but that's my favourite flavour. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, Vanilla Ice getting most of the votes there. Mm -hmm. Ice, Ice Baby. I used to yeah. sing that at karaoke. <laughs> so you knew that one straight yeah. away then. What's that? Um, I mean, I no, I won't. I was going to say, I, yeah, I, I could even remember some of it. Uh, you don't need to let's, let's not, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so most of you getting that right. Yeah. And Shaggy was yeah, fastest. Yeah, well done, Shaggy. Isn't Shaggy a rapper, too? <laughs> Is he a friend of Vanilla Rice? Well, okay, there you go. I mean, that could be it. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't him, though, was it? <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> Okay, question four. Where does 97% of the world's real vanilla come from? Is it Cuba, Vietnam, California, or Madagascar? <laughs> Shaggy saying it wasn't him. It wasn't <laughs> That's was cool. I heard that for the first time in ages <laughs> yeah, the yeah. other day. Yeah. You sometimes see this on the, on the bottle if you buy like vanilla essence. From... Yeah, I, I have to admit, when mm. these came up, mm -hmm. I, I thought, well, I got no idea. But then... Yeah, I, I thought about mm. last time I'd seen, you know, vanilla essence yeah, or, yeah. you know, whatever. And I'm sure it talked about Madagascar. Mm. Uh, and so, well, half of you have said Madagascar. Mm. A quarter of you are going for Cuba. Everyone else split between Vietnam and California. I'm reasonably certain it's Madagascar, though. Yeah, yes, there indeed. We go. Mm -hmm. So, Green and Goose was the yeah, fastest. Nice. Oh. Second and a half. That's pretty speedy. <laughs> Okay, last one on ice Final cream. Final question. The ice cream cone appeared in 1904 when an ice cream seller ran out of dishes. So he used some rolled up waffles from the Syrian vendor next to him. At which event? This is a very long question. I know. <laughs> which event was it that this happened in 1904? Was it Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Venice Carnival, St. Louis World Fair or the Great Exhibition? So this is the invention of the waffle cone. From the Syrian mm. vendor next to him. He had Where? these waffles and he just like bent them around and put the ice cream in the middle. Where would you have an ice cream seller next to a Syrian vendor? I mean, yeah. Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I mean, that seems unlikely. Yeah. Venice Carnival, I don't know. These are people from all over the world. Well, I mean, I, when these came up, I mean, I've, I've got no idea, mm -hmm. but the World Fair and the Great Exhibition are the ones that jumped out at me. Um, I'm thinking the World Fair. Yeah. I guess the question is, which of these events happened in 1904? Well, yeah, exactly. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, mm -hmm. Okay, so most of you have gone for Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Quarter of you saying Venice Carnival. Everyone else split between the others. Indeed, it was it's the World Fair. Fair. That was the waffle cone. I think the other cones are different. They were invented earlier, but the waffle cone, you know, mm. those like really sweet ones. Yeah. Uh, crash that uh, it says uh, did once have ice cream at Blackpool so can confirm they do have ice oh, cream oh that's there. good that's good to know then yeah. excellent <laughs> um, they also have um, donkey rides as they I was do. talking about last week yeah yeah they do or at least they did I assume you don't anymore because it's a bit harsh really <laughs> Have you ever had ice cream in Italy? Have you ever got to Italy? Well, this is the home of ice cream, isn't it? Gelato. Mm. It's meant to be fantastic. Um, we, we went to Italy a couple of years ago with a friend, uh, and I had a chocolate ice cream, and it just melted and went <laughs> everywhere. Gelato. So I was sat outside this um, this gelato cafe, <laughs> oh, yeah, just with chocolate ice cream all down my arm, all over my face. It was so just messy. a giant mess. So it tasted messy. so good, though. Um, okay, so... Uh, let's see who oh, was Olive fastest Walnut. there. Well done on that one. It took a while yeah. to think about it. But, but you know, yeah. there's nothing That's wrong right. with having to think about think it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, don't ever tell an Italian ice cream jar to the same thing. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I suppose that's actually right. yeah, I probably mm -hmm. uh, shouldn't um, no, conflate those No, I'm sure they two. think theirs is completely different mm. and fantastic. Which um, it could be. Lucas, I don't remember, but I had pizza in Venice. Mm. Wow. We, we had um, pizza in Pisa. We did. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty nice. We had it outside, it's lovely. <laughs> I really want ice cream now. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, that's the end of that round. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Mm -hmm. Okay, they seem a bit more sensible. Yeah, yeah. I really need to space those numbers out. Green yeah. and Goose there with 1,331 points. Oh, no. Green and Goose 13 there with 31 points. Mm -hmm. That's quite a hard round then. Nobody got mm. more than right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, okay, so uh, we got, what, six people got um, got three right. Mm -hmm. um, so we got Mighty Mo, Human Seller, Shaz and Riv, Lucas, Vex, Tapestry and Olive... No, not Olive Walnut. They all got uh, 30 points. Olive Walnut, 22. Shaggy and Jess both on 21 with that. Engulf Tick, Ren Enigma, Ferret, uh, SCMZ Sara. Oh, sorry, I, I don't think we said hello yeah, when you turned hello. up. Hello, nice I to think, see you. I think it was in the middle of things going wrong, oh, so yeah. I, I got distracted. But <laughs> hello, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, they were on 20. Dom and Jerry, Crash Latch, and GGR Princess on 10. So, so let's take those, add them into the existing leaderboard. And... There we go. Okay. So we've got... Uh, Green Goose on, I assume that's 163. Yeah. Uh, I need to make that text a bit smaller. Um, and, uh, yep, Ferret um, and Mr. Tapestry slightly behind, 151141. You know, Jess and Shaggy not too far behind there, 133, 132. You know, it's, yeah, I think, yeah, we, we can still maybe see some other people win if... Yeah. Um, We've got one more round to go, yeah, yeah. so let's see how you do it. I guess now. it depends on, uh, on how Goose is going to do on this one. Yeah, yeah. But uh, just shouting out some of the newbies there. I mean, we've got, uh, you know, Shaggy, fifth place. Yeah. Crash Thatch, two behind there. Lucas yeah. as well. Um, you know, um, Princess and Sara. Uh, I mean, well, they've uh, only joined They joined recently. a little bit late, so, yeah, you can't expect to be at the top. Yeah, but, you know, looking good. All right, let's see what the last one is all about then. So, um, over on Interference, Jap Den Comics was asked to draw four-legged alien on Mars. Dude's happy and waving at you. <laughs> he's saying hello, he's cute. <laughs> I like him. He's really cute. Space, aliens, Mars. Ooh, what's it going to be yeah. about? Mars, aliens, aliens, and space. <laughs> space. What's your favourite thing about space? Mine's space, Mine space. watchers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a really cute alien. Aliens are usually green, aren't they, in interference, but this is pink. Mm, he's yeah, it's quite, You've got quite two unusual. little tails. He's awesome. <laughs> um, Crash Latch saying, next week my name will be seen. Nine, 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 nine. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> no. um, I'll have to like, put, put a check on these numbers <laughs> yeah, to make sure so. they make sense. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I used to read loads about it in this book I had. So, uh, mm -hmm. I've got a book about space somewhere. Space. Everyone likes space. It's fascinating. Okay. So, I mean, it's got, it's got, to, be, it's got to be space. That's it. Although, right, he's, he's on Mars. Maybe it's actually about Mars, mm -hmm. specifically. Maybe it is. <gasps> ah, yes it is. <laughs> I almost didn't think of that. <laughs> really? Mm. Okay, so last round, let's see how everyone does on Mars. So starting off, Mars is named after the Roman god of what? Is it wine, love, wisdom, or war? Mm. Mars. Mm. The of... Okay, um, you know, wisdom, love. I mean, well, love, Mars is red, so yeah. yeah for wine, but that'd there. be my favourite god, the god of wine. <laughs> well, if, if you put chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mars, what is it good for? Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. Say it again. <laughs> um, the, uh, I, most of you saying war. <laughs> war. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 80% of you are yeah, going Yeah, you that, know your right. Roman gods. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I kind of remember that from watching, you know, Hercules or mm. Xena, Warrior Princess Do back you? in the day good. when I was at uni. Good. Um, I'm glad you learned something at uni. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I learned all about Teletubbies as well. It was great. Um, okay, so most of you getting that right. And Crash Thatch oh, was fastest. Yeah. Just over a second. <laughs> okay, next up. Earth is the third planet from the Sun, so which position is Mars? Is it fourth, second, fifth, or sixth? Mm -hmm. We're third up from the Sun. Mm. Remember that show? Um, so basically, the question really amounts to 
is it on the inside or the outside of us? Yeah. Um, so most of you saying it's on the outside of us, going for fourth, three mm -hmm. quarters of you. A um, few people saying they're one in from us, so they're the second. Um, and, uh, you know, someone said the fifth. You see, now I'm, that's made me suddenly doubt myself. I'm pretty sure Mars comes after us. Yeah, 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 I think. Mm -hmm. Vanguard seeing um, weird things. I just saw a quick flash of the previous answers. They changed quickly <laughs> there. Um, just, just checking. Do you mean on the stream or on the mix play buttons? Um, just for when I try and replicate that later on the buttons. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'll check that out. Thank you. Um, so, is that right? I think that's right. There we go. Fourth. So, yeah. three quarters of you right. Mm -hmm. And Shaggy was well fastest. Done. Not <laughs> quite under a second, but that's still very speedy. Pretty good going, isn't it? Okay. Which band sang Girl From Mars? I don't think I know that. Don't you? Wow, I thought everyone. Aqua, <laughs> Aerosmith, ACDC, or Ash? Jessamines. Crash touch thing. Mars is the wolf <laughs> planet of <laughs> <from> the sun. <laughs> uh, so Jess's dad is obviously a fan of these. <laughs> when you introduced her to the band. band. Okay, so uh, Aqua, not very popular. Um, yeah, then they met a girl from Mars and they played cards. I'm going to totally play for this for you. I think. No, I don't rem remember that at oh, all. I mean, if it was Barbie Girl from Mars, <laughs> I mean, you know, I would have gone Aqua. Yeah, yeah. You see, <laughs> see Shaggy saying, oh, well, I thought I knew this. Now I'm not sure. This is what happens. You know, you <laughs> see what other people are saying. <laughs> yeah, and you're yeah, like, uh, actually, have I got it wrong? <laughs> this is where it turns out to be Aqua. One person is right. Uh, okay, so pretty <laughs> even here, really. Uh, Aerosmith, ACDC, both getting a third of the votes. Uh, Ash getting almost all the rest of them. Okay. Tiny bit for Aqua there. Um, I got I got literally no idea. Um, wow. Jess totally knows this one. Is she going to be fastest then? I don't even know <laughs> what to guess at here. Um, I don't really know any Ash. Um, Aerosmith? I mean, I don't, I don't remember them ever doing that. ACDC? I might go ACDC. <laughs> That'd be good for Mars. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, Ash. It's Ash, yeah. I thought everyone knew that song. Wow, okay. Are you going to sing it for us? I don't know if that's a copyright issue. Okay, very good. <laughs> Is always the right answer when yeah. someone tries to get you to sing something. Yes, yes, licensing issues. I will, yeah, I will play yeah. for you later. Uh, okay, uh, Grinning Goose, getting that one fastest. There you go. But, you know, just over a quarter if you get it right. <laughs> uh, Shaggy saying, ah, damn, I knew it. You knew um, it, yeah. Yeah, you as I say, it's, you, you think you know these things, then the answers come up and you're like, oh, oh. actually. All right, question four then. Mars has the tallest mountain in the solar system. What is its name? Imagine is it Mons Pica, Olympus Mons, Mons Vitruvius, or Mons Piton? Mons Python? I don't know. Piton. Piton. So three of those are actually on the moon. Only one of those is on Mars. Oh, right. And it happens to be the tallest one in the whole solar system. Uh, okay, well, until you said the others are on the moon, I mean, I was pretty confident it was Olympus Mons. Um, for some reason, I th was someone on TV talking about that the other day on some programme we watched or something? Or maybe it was a quiz. You're right, Jesse, it is an inactive volcano. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so <laughs> That's most, impressive. most people, nearly three quarters of you, going for Olympus Mons, which is what I thought. Uh, and then when you said the others are on the moon, I thought, well, you know, I mean, that could be on the moon. I'm pretty sure it's Olympus Mons. But I'm, I'm sure I've heard someone mention that in the last couple of days. Okay, press the button, let's see. Yeah, Ooh, there we go. You're right. Olympus Mons. Okay, wow. crash that's fast is there. Crash that's really that one. About a second and a quarter. That's pretty good pretty going. Very speedy. Mm. Okay. So Final last one question. on Mars. Well, last one of everything. Yeah. Which film is about the first humans born on Mars visiting Earth for the first time? Is it Mars Attacks, The Space Between Us, The Martian, or Doom? Doom. <laughs> um, well, I thought I didn't know that because yeah. I, I don't can think I can rule out some though. I don't think I've ever heard of that, um, but I think I can rule out three yeah. of them. Yeah, Mars Attacks is that one that you keep saying I have to watch because <laughs> I've watch never that. seen it. It's very silly. Oh, Dynamo Gaming hosting us. Thank you very much for the host oh, there. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, the, um, the Martian, that was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, you've that seen was, that, um, you? The yeah, one yeah. With, the, with the book. 
<laughs> the Martian was was great film and a great book. Yeah, you're happened, right, Shaggy. Yeah. She's Shag Shaggy's seen Master Hugs. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Jess, Jess is right here. It's yeah. the other way around. It's exactly. like a, exactly. a terraforming mission. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's very good. You should uh, you should see it. Mm -hmm. uh, Doom. Uh, well, Doom is is about Mars mm -hmm. um, because um, all about Mars. <laughs> well, this is, this is true. Yeah. Uh, Doom, is it Doom a game as well? It is. It was also a film with yeah, The Rock, okay. as I think he was still calling himself then. Um, but you know that's mm -hmm. that's on Mars, and all hell breaks loose. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, see what I did there. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, the space between us. I have never heard of that, uh, but that seems to be the only answer that I can't rule out. Okay, let's see if it's right. Okay. Yay, yeah, there we it. go. <laughs> so a bit over yeah. half of you getting that right. It sounds really interesting, but I've never heard of it. And it's quite a recent film as well. See, I I, I was kind of like. Um, reading the chat and looking at that and um wait the yeah, doom film yeah, is based I've, on the game I've, I've never seen the space between us yeah it sounds really interesting and then i looked at shaggy saying they find a gate to hell on mars i'm like wow that sounds just like do oh wait you're talking about doom oh is that doom again <laughs> yeah <clears throat> apparently it is um okay so uh yeah most of you getting that right and mr, mr. Tapestry, tapestry was fastest have you seen it mr tapestry is it any good mm. i think we should watch it i think it'd be good yeah all it right sounds yeah, good yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We should start some sort of uh, interference film club or something. Yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> um, and then we can talk about them on Discord. Looks like if you need to know about Mars, then Grinning Goose is the one to ask. That's well, there says. we go. Yeah, <laughs> Grinning Goose, uh, well, perfect round, actually. Yeah, and one fastest as well. Um, crash that. I was thinking of June, not Doom. <laughs> uh, you know, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know if I ever saw June. Mm -hmm. um, I know of it. Yeah. But anyway, I, I digress. Uh, so Goose got a perfect round, as did Jess, but Goose got one faster. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, in, the, in the lead there. Uh, Shaggy and Mr. Tapestry, uh, 41. Mm -hmm. uh, Mighty Mo, Human Teller, uh, Ferret, all on 40. I probably um, shouldn't um, uh, read through all of these because we're now starting to get more and more players. It takes uh, so long to read them out. But, you know, we've got, we've got quite a spread there. Um, <laughs> Grin and Goose OP, please nerf. What's um, that mean? What's that mean? Uh, it's a bit, bit, bit overpowered, storming in. Um, but uh, seemingly knowing a lot about uh, a lot about Mars. Yeah. Uh, oh, Dynamo Gaming's just uh, just joined us. Uh, okay, so thank you very much. Although the bad news is we are uh, just, just about, about to wrap up <laughs> yeah. and show the final scores. Absolutely. Um, Let's have a look at the final leaderboard. And the winner is <gasps> Grinning Goose, Goose for the second week running. Mm. Wow! Who can beat Grinning Goose? Oh wow, Ava actually noticed it was the end of the quiz. Oh cool. There we go. Maybe mm. I did fix her, but she was just broken at the start. <laughs> yeah. mm, I don't know. Anyway. Um, so uh, yeah, Grin and Goose finishing on top there with uh, 214. Ferret in second place on 191. Then we've got Jess and Mr. Tapestry, really close, 183 and 182. Uh, Shaggy's on 173, Yay. which I think is a very well nice done. debut there. Yeah. That's great stuff. Uh, got Mighty Mo on 163, Craft Thatch on uh, 153. Uh, you know, again, mm -hmm. that's pretty good pretty for a first attempt there. Absolutely. Um, same number of questions right as Humid Seller and Lucas, one of our other new players. Yeah. Um, you know, there's just the fastest answers making a difference there. Yeah. <laughs> um, Old Walnut 132, Ren Enigma 120. Uh, got Engulf Tick on 110, Dom and Joey and Shaz and Riff, both on 80. The same, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sarah, who joined us pretty close to the end, uh, along with Princess. Uh, 1751 then Dynamo Gaming joined us just right at the end so yeah. unfortunately no points oh. but we would love it if you could join us next, next week next Sunday same time 7 o'clock we start uh, Shaggy saying I are smart yeah <laughs> and as I say you know You're very smart <laughs> you know new players mm -hmm. it's you know yeah. this is an unusual thing it is um, yeah yeah so um, yeah, it takes some getting into it yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but we hope you enjoyed it you new guys hang on I should bring us back over here yeah there we go that was really impressive. Mm. Yeah, uh, that was an excellent start. So it doesn't usually go wrong, so we're really sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Not you sure know what happened there. <laughs> as I say, um, the thing is, we're sort of kind of on, on the cutting edge yeah. of stuff here. Nobody this else all, does a quiz like this. It's all really dependent on real-time streaming yeah, yeah. and the interactive stuff. So exactly. if anything kind of glitches out, stuff yeah. is a little bit weird. But we got there in the end. We got um, to the end. Yeah, although I take full mm. responsibility for the fact that everything went wrong because <laughs> I said, oh, actually, I've got a technical <laughs> difficulty screen that we've never had to use. Yeah, um, and you're wearing it on the shirt And well. yes, I'm, I'm sort of jinxing it by wearing it on the shirt, yeah, but yeah. Ferret got me this for, for Christmas, so it seemed a shame not to, uh, not to wear it. <laughs> 
But yeah, it was um, lovely to see you all in the quiz. Yes, yes. Thank mm -hmm. you very much for joining us. Yeah. Um, just catching up with the chat. Uh, Randy saying, Happy New Year, everyone. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, New, New Year's Year, Eve yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. So everyone have a great New Year. Yeah. Uh, Shaggy, loved it. Good fun. Excellent. Uh, it was really good having you here. We'd love it if you it could was. join us yeah, uh, next time. Next year. <laughs> uh, Dynamo Gaming, are there any other shows this week? Uh, if you enjoy the quiz, this is on every Sunday at mm -hmm. the same time. Yep. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's 7 p.m. UK time, if you adjust for your local time zone. Um, but uh, yeah, it's myself and Bunnery here uh, every Sunday doing mm -hmm. this, 7 p.m. UK time. Basically an hour before now we start. <laughs> uh, although you can tune in a little bit early, you know, 10 to quarter to, uh, for some pre-quiz chat. Yeah. But there is another show, isn't there, on there Wednesday? There is another show on yeah. Wednesday, mm -hmm. which is Interference and Chill uh, with Ferret, who's uh, in the chat there. Uh, and that's where she plays our other game, uh, Interference, the drawing and describing game, mm -hmm. uh, live on stream. And it's all interactive through mixed play, so you can do things like vote on which item you want to see her draw. Mm -hmm. And you can mess with her a bit by fiddling with her palette, take away her colours, or give her extra time if you're feeling nice. Or disable the undo button. She doesn't like that one. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty harsh, um, disabling the, uh, the undo button. But it is yeah. quite funny to watch. <laughs> cool. Um, but uh, yeah, as I say, if you've, uh, if you've enjoyed the quiz, it would be great if you could hit the follow button mm -hmm. and um, then you can uh, make sure you don't miss any in future. And if you know anyone else who likes this kind of stuff, yeah, it would tell be them all about wonderful it. Wonderful if you could get them yeah, to join us. We need more players, more, more players. Thank you for the follow, Sarah. Appreciate yeah. that. Oh, thank you, Rennie. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, the more people we can get, uh, the, the better. better. Yeah. 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 Um, we should. Um, yeah, as I say, next week I may be planning to start on the next version of the quiz software. So uh, got some interesting new things planned, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, probably needs a few weeks' work before, uh, before then. <laughs> yeah, but we'll uh, be back but, next Sunday. But yeah, um, in the meantime, it would be also very cool if you could check out Interference uh, over at playinterference.com. There's links to all of this stuff down in the channel description. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because that's where the drawings that are the inspiration for the rounds in the quiz come from. Yeah. So. If you draw something this week, you never know, it might be one of the featured items on Absolutely. the quiz next week. Quiz and everyone will see it. <laughs> um, and uh, also, we have a Discord server if you want to have a bit of quiz chat or any other kind of nonsense, yeah. uh, which you can find at playinterference.com slash Discord. Yeah. Uh, again, there's a uh, link down in the channel description. Yeah, Happy New Year, Mo, Happy to you New as Year, well. Mo. That's um, a good one for you. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. We'll That's see it. you next year. That's it for the year. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. Madness. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for joining us and uh, thank you for putting up with technical difficulties. Yeah, yeah. And we'll hopefully we will catch you all same time next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>